Okay guys, I'm gonna let you in on the thing I hate most about Japan. Full statement. Japan, <laughs> you are good. And I didn't realize how like good it was for my soul to see it. So today is our last day. Even though we've loved our time in Tokyo, hanging out with our friends, Guys, we're used to van life, we're used to slow living, so we've decided to take ourselves to a place called Kamakura. Less than an hour away from Tokyo, you can get a train straight here. It was super straightforward, perfect for a day trip. For us, we're here for three days. Excited to kickstart our little Japan trip. So yeah, apparently Kili's back's too sore to carry bags, so I'm the camel today. Look, 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 look. It's like, the sea. Guys, we're at the sea. I'm beyond excited right now. We're, we're in Japan. Uh, on a beach. I have missed the sea so much. Honestly. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it really is, guys. I'm so happy. Look yeah. at the sea. Look at the sea. <laughs> We're also working on getting our drone approved to be able to fly your drone in Japan. <gasps> no! What did you these do? These are my only pair of trousers. <laughs> guys, these are my only pair of trousers. I what just ripped a giant do? hole in them and a rusty post and probably need a tetanus injection. What did you do? I Myself. I'm getting locked up. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is what I have to live with every day. Look but what she walked into. Japanese people don't have thighs as big as me. I'm not going to be able to buy new clothes. Oh dear. Anyway, before we were rudely interrupted by Keely's thigh, <laughs> I was telling you about the drone situation. Apparently, yeah, you need to apply to the government and they'll give you a, like a yes or no certificate whether you can fly your drone or not. But you'll probably have to wait a couple of weeks before we get that sorted. Yeah, but right now let's let's give you a tour. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is this whole place ours? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. There's a big long hallway and multiple rooms. Philly, this place is huge. <laughs> and we've got a view of the beach from our kitchen. Like literally I can see the sea. What? But Philly, the sea's literally right there. Look at this kitchen. Look at this kitchen. This is bougie. I'm like, we were not expecting this. I thought when it said it had a kitchen, it was going to be like one hob ring. I just can't get over how much light there is. Yeah, this is this is amazing. Look at that plant. Like that plant's real and it's alive. We have a balcony. We have another room here. You can turn the lights on, maybe. This is incredible, man. So this has the like rattan. Uh, you can have beds in here as well, like yeah, yeah. on the floor. Got a washing machine. One of those Japanese style dunk tanks. Oh my goodness, I can have a bath. Honestly, Japanese do life right, don't they? And another big room here. What are we going to do? This can be our workroom. Yeah. There is so much light. This just makes me want to have a house full of glass. I want to live here. This is cool, man. The beach is right there. What a pad. This is a pad. This is cool. <laughs> Guys, what the heck? What's this luxury like? What is this luxury like? Anyway, let's relax. Yeah. Let's let's get a shower. I don't think I've showered properly in weeks. You know, we were staying with friends. We had a shower on the bath. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but now this is our own space. Yeah. Let's make some coffee. Let's chill out. Look at that light coming in. We're actually that. getting the sunset here. Guys, what? this is incredible. I feel so... I feel pretty... Pretty right grateful now. right now, yeah. yeah. Coffee? Yay! I love getting coffee in bed. This is like the van falling for again. Morning, everyone. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> So you can't have a kitchen this big and not cook in it. So I'm gonna make some breakfast, guys. Finding vegan friendly bread here is a nightmare. But we found a ridiculously expensive, it's got like walnuts and everything in it. So smashed avo tofu on toast. Guys, I promise I'm not usually feral like that with the avocado. I'm usually like a slice and scoop person. That skin was not plain ball. It literally isn't going through. This is making me look like I don't know how to cook, but I do. Son of a nugget. piece of toast. We lost a piece of toast. Oh my goodness. I'm going to bring myself quite significantly here. 
tell not to make breakfast. Yeah, you can tell that I haven't cooked in a kitchen for like a month and a half, can't you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. Chef extraordinaire right here. <laughs> that was a bit embarrassing, but eh. Uh... Yeah, we've been away from the van for about a month. We've been looking back at like photos and stuff and and we just, yeah, it made us realise how much we miss it. The first few weeks I didn't miss the van at all because I didn't miss all the stress the van brought with it. But now that I feel I've regulated my emotional state, I'm like, oh, the van's pretty good. <laughs> Guys, I'm legit so excited for a day out by the beach. Even though we're not going to the beach, we're going to see gardens and shrines and thought we're going to get a little train that goes down by the coast and... <laughs> it's like it's going to rain. I know. <laughs> I love the seaside! <laughs> so we were on the way to the train station, but we passed the coffee shop. Kelly had a good coffee. Even though I already had two today, but this one's just like a celebration one for having a little seaside adventure. <laughs> I feel like you treat yourself a lot with these coffees. And, Maybe. And is that a donut? Shh. <laughs> yeah. I decided to let Kelly decide what we're doing today. Okay, right. So I decided I wanted to go to this place, Hayes. It's got like a great big Buddha statue. It's got caves, gardens. It's meant to be really cool. I've just realized that it was quicker to walk to this place from where we were staying than walking all the way back into Kamakura, wait for a train and get a train. But in my defense, it's a little electronic train. We're going to get to go through little bits. It's only five minutes, but... Yeah. Yeah. Adventure. So now that we've got the train back to where we're staying. We got an experience on a cute little train for 37 seconds. I just need to make sure that I'm looking at yeah, the map. Yeah, why are you letting like, me take control? I, it was one, one time, Keely. Sorry, Keely, you have to skip lunch. <laughs> okay, guys. My uh, research failed even further because I didn't realize you had to pay to get into this temple in Hase. Mm -hmm. Has? I'm not sure how to pronounce this place. But at least this place is beautiful, so I'll it let is. you away with it. So since you brought us here, tell us about this place. I don't know anything about this place. Um, I'll look it up and tell you in a minute. Well, you can't do that. So yeah, what do all these statues signify? I don't know. Can someone tell us in the comments? Because I don't Kini, know. Kenny, you're meant to be our tour guide. I tried to look it up on Wikipedia. It had very limited information. Not that Wikipedia is a true source of knowledge, but it's beautiful to look at. I can tell it's representative of something. So and what's this temple called? This big one? That's a big long word. <laughs> Pop it up here. <laughs> I thought that whenever we got here, we would literally just come in and see a temple. I did not realize there'd be so many steps, layers, tiers, flowing rivers, numerous different buildings. Like, this is beautiful. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Uh, we're only like halfway through. We have to like walk up some steps up along the sea, you know? <gasps> Listening to those wind chimes. That's beautiful. I, I feel very zen. You okay? Yeah, I'm just very much enjoying looking out at the sea and I didn't realise how like good it was for my soul to see it. There's something so vast, like it just gets darker and darker and it just never ends. And... Like my humour? <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Go on Keelan. I'm going to run up this. <laughs> You just caught up on me so quickly. Hercules punctured after these three steps. Look how deep that beach is. Oh, feeling like just watching them waves crash is making me emotional. I just love the sea so much. Oh, it just looks so beautiful and the sun's shining on the sand and people are just in the sea. It feels so good for my soul. I love you. I love you too. Um, I love your sensitive soul. <laughs> I'm so sensitive. <laughs> That's okay. good. You're a good spiritual connection to the earth. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, this 
place has got so many different buildings inside some of them there's like statues there's a giant bell it looks like there's even a graveyard like this place has got so much stuff and we're gonna go check out the main temple now so in the main temple you're not allowed to film but guys it was cool i was not expecting there's a big golden statue of buddha i'll try and get photos off the internet but it's like standing up tall like beaming down on you and you're just standing there like whoa this feels impressive mm -hmm. it was beautiful it was grand i'm just having a lovely time it's really good <laughs> you're so sweet stop being so sweet mm -hmm. she just puts this on for the camera yeah i'm usually a bitch <laughs> you said it oh my goodness oh my goodness guys we were about to leave i almost okay. forgot about the cave <laughs> the cave's meant to be full of candles and i really hope it is i'm already in love with this cave and i've only just got in it I officially want the cave on our future land so that I can carve stuff in it and put candles in it. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once, without thinking twice? I can see you. And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the one. Not gonna lie, I enjoyed that more than I thought I, I would. Like, I knew it was gonna be super beautiful, but it's just super quiet, super serene, peaceful. We just realized that I forgot about the other thing I wanted to do in Haste, which is a giant bronze Buddha statue. Second biggest one in Japan, it's just around the corner. Apparently you can go inside it, but I don't know if that's true. Like what? a Trojan horse? Yeah, it's hollow. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> This is a bronze Buddha. Even though he's hollow, he's ridiculously heavy. I don't understand how people built it. I really want to see if we can get inside him. I don't know why, I just want to, because you can. You can get inside. It even has windows where you can look out, but it's, it's closed due to COVID. That's sad. To get true scale of this, I feel like you need to go and stand beside it. Okay. I'm going to guess that he's 12 times the height of me. What do you think? And then I'm gonna look it up and see. I'm gonna say like 40. He's 121 tons and he is 44 feet. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's always the better guesser. Oh, it literally tells me on the back of this. I didn't need to Google that stuff. <laughs> right, let's go to the beach and hopefully catch the sunset. I read you can see the sunset behind Fuji and literally we round this corner and boom There's Fuji right Fuji. there Shit Wow that is incredible What a special place That was so special That was yeah. worth that slight brisk job <laughs> We caught it just as it was dipping down. Yeah, but uh. such a great day. Okay guys, I'm gonna let you in on the thing I hate most about Japan. Bull statement. Japan's cafes don't open until 11 o'clock. <laughs> I've had to wait so many hours for breakfast, I'm going insane. This doesn't work for me. Find a crepe place anywhere that is open. Yeah, and it does vegan crepes. <laughs> show me, show me. I don't actually understand how to eat it. It's like a burrito. Oh my word, that crepe is so light and there's so much cream in it. I don't think I've had cream for years. I know. What an indulgence, huh? As much as I'd love to say we're gonna have more Kamakura adventures, we need to go home and edit the video. Let's go do some work and then let's go for swim. Yeah. Many hours later. Let's go for a swim. Cue the summer music in winter. You ready? I'm ready. Towels. Check. Swimsuit. Check. Okay. <laughs> go, bro. Check. Ready, go. Check. Push. <laughs> Never regret a swim, guys. You know what? I haven't said that in so long, I almost forgot. Let's go. Let's I'm happy just, right now? Let's just get in, man. Let's just do it. But it's like, it's not Ireland cold. Guys, you don't understand how much I love to see. Look at this. Look at this. Japan. <laughs> you are good.
Gorgeous. Come on in! All right, it's my turn, I suppose. Let's do this. When I was coming in, I was just like, we're in Japan. We're like in the sea in Japan. When we're old and grey, we can look back at these videos and be like, what the heck? It's good. Enough talking, more dunking. Okay, bye. Fill my head with roses. Ooh, I can't help but dream away. Standing on a field with you and flowers everywhere. This view is just insane, yeah. So, so beautiful. Good morning. Today is a new day, feeling somewhat fresh. Uh, last night our friends came over, our friends that we've been staying with. Uh, it's nice to be able to host people in our own place. It was good just to chill out. We played some games. Keely lost a lot of games. If you know Keely, Keely's pretty competitive, but she lost every single game. Yeah. You guys! <laughs> <laughs> you really did go out and play some bloody Keely. <laughs> anyway, we got to check out of this place in under an hour. We have to get coffee, we have to get food, so we have a lot of things to do. Are you good? I'm sleepy. Good morning, mate. Hey. Hi. Hey. Keely's trying to shut up, okay? Validate her losses. <laughs> like, we were all having fun, weren't we? we were having a good time. <laughs> Feel any better about losing? Are you games? still talking to me about this for crying out loud? Um, um, no comment. <laughs> Alright Tim, we gotta leave. We gotta get out of here. We gotta hand these keys back. Bye house. Thank you. Okay, so well fed now after a young breakfast. So we're out to explore Kamakura. Guys, it's really hot. I'm it's getting so like sunburned. Hot. We're gonna walk up and down the street. Looks like there's lots of souvenirs. I think this is the main like touristy street. Maybe see if we can get some snacks or something. Then Bamboo Forest. Yeah, that's okay. Let's go. Oh wait, I thought you were gonna like hold my hand. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> She's lost already. Be free, little one. So the bamboo foresty place is like a 27 minute walk and on the way there is this spot of loads of beautiful shrines and like rivers and gardens so we thought we'd check it out on the way. Guys I looked it up to try and say their names and I realised I was going to pronounce it all wrong and people, go on, are probably, give it a go. people are probably sick of us Irish people butchering these beautiful Japanese words. Everybody likes a okay. trier. Suru gaoka. Suru gaoka hachimingu. There, that's my attempt. I apologize, Japanese people. Okay, I'm Irish. Forgive me. Guys, look, there's candy floss. If any of you seen our Harajuku video, I wanted to get candy floss, but it's too expensive. But here, it's two pounds, that's okay. That's a third of the price. You can get candy floss if you want. 300 yen, please. Go treat yourself. Thanks, i right, take that. <laughs> Teeth will be rotting out of her head. I want to see if candy floss lives up to my childhood expectations. It won't. For all the people in the comments that said that I should have just bought it, you know, this is for I know, these guys. thanks guys, you made me feel bad for not letting her buy candy floss, so there you go. Alright, are we ready? Yeah. What if it doesn't live up to my expectations? Then it'll be a massive, I told you so. <laughs> it lived up to everything. <laughs> you want some? No, my teeth uh, are too bad for that. This kid's gonna get a sugar rush crash. With all this candy plus malarkey, I forgot that we're meant to be filming some shrines. Finish. You alright kiddo? Did that you enjoy that? About 70 meters? <laughs> yeah. And now you're gonna crash and burn. I'm gonna crash so hard and I've got no regrets until the time I crash. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, do you love me? So we've arrived at Hokokuji Temple and here they have a bamboo forest which we're excited to go check out. I believe it costs 300 yen to get in. It also has a beautiful wooden tea garden right in the centre of the bamboo forest which costs 600 yen to get in. But we think we'll just go explore the gardens, take it in. So far it's like super manicured and beautiful isn't yeah, it? Yeah, even just the first few steps past yeah. the door it looks amazing. Oh, hi. This is the tea house that you can get your little matcha tea and sit and look at the water feature and the bamboo and all. That looks very cute, but guys, the truth is, I'm sorry, but I really hate matcha. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the super green tea. Plus, I'm still high on candy floss <laughs> right now, so <laughs> let's keep looking. How beautiful is all this, though? How beautiful is like the, the sun just licking all these trees as well? So. Yeah, like beaming down through the bamboo. And the Oh, it's, it's really, really beautiful. Zen. Zen, baby. Yeah. So it's beautiful, but I'll be honest, it's a lot smaller than I was expecting. I think because it's called a bamboo forest, I was expecting like as far as the eye could see. But it's still really beautiful, even though there's really big ones in Kyoto and stuff. If you're only based in Tokyo, Kamakura is like less than an hour away. It's a great day trip. It's been really beautiful. It's been, it's been the zen we've needed, I think. Yeah, yeah, it really has. Come on in. Kamakura has been super nice. It's It's been really nice to just kind of like slow down after the, the busyness of Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Get a bit of like proper nature, like getting in the sea, man. That felt so good. So next week, we're going to be getting the, the night bus to Osaka. Mm -hmm. So there's so much more exploring that we need to do. Our first stop on our Japan exploration. So mm -hmm. it's been awesome. Thank you so much guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.